Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series where I, Mischievous the Platypus, play Super Cane Magic Zero, Legend of the Cane Cane. So this game is an early access. Uh, I've got a save file going down here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new save file. Uh, I'm going to just go with medium because that's the one that that they suggest. So what in this game what we can do is we can do challenges, the arena, story mode is not ready yet. This contact will take a few more months to be complete. Keep following us to find out. Uh, I can't wait. There's unlockables that we can uh, purchase here. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the arena is two to four players. I'm by myself, so I'm going to jump right into challenges. So I can be uh, Koso, Kosa, Anakosa, uh, Giancoso, so, uh, and they all have a special uh, ability. Creates a charring area of hot bacon. Stuns every a nearby enemy. Blasts an area with powerful magic damage. Supports his friends with a healing area of candy. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go... I'm going to do Koso. Going to jump right in. Uh, and you can see I'm wearing like, like purple underwear and that's it. So this is going to be the tutorial level, and we're going to check it out. A weird place where uh, people put advices on how to win at breathing. Makes sense. Uh, the magic brown leaf will turn you into a raccoon and fly in the sky in another game. The loading screens for this game are so much fun. They're, uh, I've, I've, never, I've only seen the same one twice a couple of times, but they all are just a little bit of humor thrown in there. Now you might... Uh, when you're looking at this game, you might think to yourself, oh, you know what this looks like? This looks like Castle Crashers, or this looks like uh, Boom Blocks Theater. Oh, hold on. I'll get into that in a second. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Standing there like a log. What, me? I just clicked a couple of things and... Shut up! Don't you get it? Now it's your duty to defeat the evil king of skeletons. What? I have got no nothing to do with this. And why should it be me? I just wanted to read a comic book. And yet you are going. First of all, everyone saw you clicking challenge. And second, I'm a little bit too old to... Oh no! What has happened? Is that a terrible curse by the evil king of skeletons? Don't be silly, fool. I died by lack of youngness. I get it now. I will avenge you. You have nowhere to run, evil king of skeletons. And that's how the game begins. Uh, at least the challenge mode. And remember, this is in early access. I'm using a Steam controller, so the right pad I can use to aim. Uh, I can press, I can lift stuff with A. I can hold A to eat it, or you can see the mouse pad. Uh, and if I eat it, what happens? I took damage. So it tells you to eat a rock, so it can, so it teaches you how to how to hurt yourself, essentially. Come over here, uh, and you're using using your mouse, or like me, uh, using a controller, and you can use this to aim. And I have to carry an item to aim, so cool. Uh, and then what happens next is I can throw said item using the bumper, uh, the the right bumper. So I hurt myself. I'll pick up this carrot. I'm healed. Salutations and galore. You can beat up. Uh, I think these will actually, will these hurt me or can I eat them? Oh, okay, I, I thought that they looked, they looked kind of dangerous for a second there. But I'm at full health. Um, press Y and you can check out your inventory and your character stats. If you press, what I've got start uh, is actually uh, the map. And if I press uh, select, then that brings me to the, the menu. And if you press B, it's panic button. So I, I just did a little button like intro, which basically this tells you this. Y or I, inventory, I already showed you that. So I don't need to do that again, I don't think.
And I have... Is that a cookie? Yeah, it was a cookie. Get out of here. What I want is the stone sword. So if you have a weapon, uh, you can use it uh, and pick up something at the same time, which is really nice. And I got a red skirt, so let's jump in here. Uh, yeah. Purple underpants gave me nothing, but the red skirt um, gave me some plus up and I think strength and speed. So I just dropped it by accident. You press B to drop things. Pick that back up, come back in here. Cool, I'm wearing it. Let's get on out of here. Is there anything else for me to, to get? All right. And then I already showed you this, but this is the map. So for me, it's the start button, not the select button. Uh, and I can jump in there and I can see where I'm going. And then this is a little intro of like, okay, so you're gonna have to interact with things to move on to the next area. Oh okay, yeah, what I was saying earlier, uh, this has a feel like uh, Castle Crashers uh, in that the way it looks, and you can also be up to four players. It also has a bit of a, but it's more mechanically like Castle Crashers. It has a look kind of like Boom Blocks Theater, but it's more, I'd say, like Castle Crashers, which uh, is perfectly fine by me. That game is awesome. So you can throw things, uh, and uh, when you have a weapon, you can press the the right bumper or trigger, whatever the heck you want to call it, on a controller to attack. You can also use it to throw things. So it's it's a it's a multi-purpose. And here, put weights on pressure plates, which I just did. I, you're welcome. I'll drop this. So power. If you look at the top left, uh, I have now fire around me, and it says one. So that means I can now uh, use my special ability. And I'll grab another one, because the max you can hold is two. If you hold more than that, it will explode and cause you some damage. And then I'll show you the... So this is the left bumper or trigger, whatever you want to call it. Oink is my special call and I've created a slab of charred bacon which will hurt enemies. Open that up. I'll grab my trusty rock. Am I missing? Oh, I see. I'll grab another one of these. Why the heck not? I have to come back here because I missed this lever. So now I can go through and you can see the map down there in the bottom right I totally got my directions mixed up for a second. And we're good to go. And I've got some uh, enemies to attack. You can pick them up. You can throw them into walls. You can hurt them. And we can use uh, them to attack each other, which is pretty fun. Oh. Well, I picked up... Ooh, pirate, pirate bandana. Okay. So... I am more prone uh, to things like so I got a pokeball here throw that and that gave me a guy who's going to join my side and attack the enemies which is pretty hilarious there's a lot of uh, homages to to older games uh, I'll give you an example come over here and you grab this Game Boy and retrovision just like the good old days that we of course all know and love and it looks like my did that hurt him yeah he died out there that's awesome and it looks like my summoned pokeball guy uh, ended up killing the other enemy for me which great that's really useful and it looks i mean it just look at how beautiful this is even in retrovision obviously if you can't figure out what i'm doing i have to throw some stuff onto these pads before I can continue. And then I have to do this. And it's going to, it's pretty, actually to be perfectly frank, it's pretty easy to move from stage to stage. Uh, Cause if you, if the door isn't open, you have to find a pressure pad or you have to find uh, one of those levers. There aren't really too many other things yet. So yeah, like I said, I should before, I can slam enemies on walls that will give them damage. 
So that was a pretty sweet amount of damage right there. Can I use this croissant to attack? I can. That is hilarious. Ooh, I tried to pick him up when uh, I couldn't. Ouch! Hey, are you insane enough? I yield. Take my lunch bunny, but please leave me be. What? I'm here to vanquish you, evil king of skeletons. I couldn't care less about your lunch money. Oh, my, there's, there's been a misunderstanding then. I'm the nice ninja skeleton that wants to be a pirate. The evil king of skeletons lives a couple of levels down the road. Oh, I'm really sorry. You skeletons all look the same to me. Nah, it's, it's okay. It, it happens all the time. All is well that ends well, I, I guess. Take care and, and good luck with your quest. Oh, so this, so the big guy, uh, you know, we're friends. We're friends now. Don't I don't really know why. I don't really care why. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this. Uh, and what happens when you drop that? You get hurt. So when you get knocked out, that appears above you, and you're good to go. You can survive. I'm grabbing all this health because I can. I'm going to go over there and check out what that egg does. I'm pretty sure it'll heal me, but I don't really want to get healed. I want to see what happens if I throw it. Whoa. So I just ate something there that ended up hurting me. Uh, and because I was too busy talking, I missed out. And now that uh, we've determined that we're actually not enemies, I cannot hurt this guy anymore. Is that a bit of a shame? Sure, I guess a bit, but whatever. Grab this apple. And this is just the tutorial level. Uh, this game is just infused with silly little, uh, like, humorous quips and what have you. It is so much fun. So I'm going to throw it. Maybe I'll get a Yoshi? No. So I can probably eat it, and it can heal me. Yeah, okay. And there's three different types of chests. This is one of them. That one explodes, and everything you see in here will probably hurt me. And then what do we have here? This looks like... I don't know what happens if I eat it. That gave, that was a lot of damage. Uh, so that I should not have eaten that. And that's part of the fun with this game too, is there's going to be so many different things that you have to... Ooh, what do we have here? That chest kind of looks like a cat. That's so cute. Oh, I think I just killed my guy. That's cool. So that ch that chest that looks like a cat. This one is a fruit basket chest, where it will just give me a whole bunch of stuff that I can use to heal myself. I've seen a few different. I've I've, got, I've already been playing, but I've seen a few different types of chests. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sort of pretending like I've never played the game before, eating things that I probably shouldn't, even though I know I probably shouldn't, just so you, uh, the viewer, can kind of experience like it for yourself and just how much fun this game is so that's it for the tutorial I believe yeah cuz not only does it look beautiful look listen to that that sounds wonderful and tutorial level is completed and that means I can go forward and the next level is called totem land uh, in these plains of molten lava and dark uh, basalt the lizard men worshiped the burrowing lava dinosaur I'm not going to carry on what I'm going to do is I'm gonna end here uh, I'm just doing the tutorial level and this is uh, the first episode of the series I really hope you guys like it because this game is so much fun I in, like I intend to get some friends over and do the arena and do some uh, like challenge mode with some friends if I can help it and when the story mode comes out I am so excited I can't wait because everything I've discovered so far is ridiculous on the steam page uh, they're gonna be implementing a belief system which is kind of how your character progresses and levels up I can't wait that sounds ridiculous I want to know exactly how that goes so I'm gonna be playing this game uh, basically every day if I can help it up until uh, it's like finally finished and released and I get to experience all this awesomeness for what it is like the story mode I can't wait but that's it for me in this episode uh, I really hope you like this video because I'm going to be playing this game a lot. Uh, if you liked Super Kane Magic Zero, uh, check out the description below and I'm going to have a link there to the Steam page. 
If you like this video, everyone, please hit the like button. It really does help a lot. And if you'd like to see more videos by me, subscribe now to keep in loop for all future content. Until next time, everybody.